alright, so this is going to be a binder video with a couple of other things that um, I am selling or trading. So, um, I've had a lot of the things in this binder for a while, but I'm doing it now because I'm, I'm done with dragons, basically. So I can, um, I can sell or trade the, uh, the things that I would not have sold or traded otherwise. So Draco Saxon, things like that. Um, I'd, I'd prefer to sell mostly and, uh, mostly within the UK as well. I'd rather not go outside if preferable. Um, not if possible, I mean, <laughs> not if preferable. It is preferable. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm open for anything really. Um, in terms of trades, I don't know. Just, just let me know what you have because I'm always interested in finding out, uh, what, what people have and seeing if there's anything I want um, just mainly artifacts at this point I guess are what I want but things are always changing I don't know within the next few days I could have everything for the deck or I could still have nothing or whatever so it's really out in the open but yep uh, mainly selling but let me know whatever and we'll work out something regardless just inbox me if you're interested in anything so we start out with uh, two atom both first ed and an ultimate gauntlet launcher unlimited so um this is like the page of my friends <laughs> who got me the nats top and two draco sack one is first ed english and the other one is unlimited edition but german so if you love them german cards then you know german draco sack is for you and an ultra big eye then a ghost star eater first edition a secret master of blades first edition and a German Heliopolis from the tin. Then we have three Curry Bandit, all first edition, uh, near mint really. It's not quite perfectly mint, but near mint. Um, all all of these are cards that I used, by the way. Um, so that's that's why everything is relatively um, uh, new, I guess. Uh, and two dragon gin. There are two dragon gins here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I think both are first dead. Yeah, both are first dead. And then a ghost shooting star first dead, and then two ultimate first ed number forty six drag luan. The three dragon shrine first dead. Three hieratic dragon of tefnuit super from the astral pack, and they are a limited edition. And uh. Yeah, just, just one Labradorite Dragon, Unlimited. Then I have three Secret Blaster. Um, two English. So there's another one behind this one. Um, I think this one is American and this one is English, but I'm, I'm not quite sure. And this one is German. Again, if you love those German cards. Then Tidal, I think I have two Tidal. Yeah, I have two Tidal. Uh, Secret. One Tempest and one Redux. I think just one for both, yeah. Then uh, fire hands and ice hands. These are all American. Um, the reason why I'm distinguishing is because there is like a difference in terms of how they look between American and English cards. And I have uh, nine fire hands and nine ice hands. I mean, there are, there are more behind, but um, three of each belong to a friend of mine. Who I agreed a long time ago to uh, sell them to. So, yeah, there are there are nine fire hands, nine ice hands. I'm not like I'm not particularly desperate to get rid of them, but I I, I don't care. Obviously, obviously you want them, then offer. Um, then nine soul charge, and indeed nine soul charge is how many I have for trade and sale. Uh, then three gig again X and super, three gig your armor. Uh, two are unlimited edition and one is first ed and then three gig gear, gear again two unlimited one first ed Then a bunch of chain burn stuff because I just thought why not put it all in one page So three swift scarecrow obviously I have like 10,000 swift scarecrows. So that's fine Two chain strike three just desserts two o drama trio uh, Three accumulated fortune uh, three jar of greed three secret barrels three super legacy of Yatagaras and uh, three reckless greed. Uh, rare, I think. I, I don't know if all of them are rare. Surely they can't all be rare. No, only one is rare. 
and the rest are common. Uh, I'll probably I'll probably remove that page. I don't know why that's there. Um, then Infernity stuff. Infernity's really surprised me in that. So they were definitely the, the shock deck for me. They came up out of nowhere and just demolished it. It was incredible. But yeah, three Infernity Arc Fiend, gold. Uh, two Infernity Launcher, one First Dead, one Unlimited Edition. One Infernity Mirage. Um, I think I have another one. It's just not in this binder. Uh, two Infernity Barrier in Super and one Secret Dark Greffer. I have everything for Infernities, by the way. So if you want to like buy a whole Infernity deck... For all these decks, actually. So I have a complete gear gear deck. Um, complete as in, like, I have the whole main. Uh, in terms of extra, I have some of the things for the extra. But, obviously, like, thing, things like 101 and um, Exiton, I'm not going to be trading. But uh, for the main, I have everything. For the main of Chainburn, I have everything. And for the main of Infernities, I have everything. So if you're interested in, in, um, in them as a deck rather than as individual cards, then let me know as well. If there's anything like that that you see here that you think I might have an entire deck assembled for, like, same same with dragons. Obviously, I have the whole dragon deck assembled, and I can build it as either mythics or higher attics, depending on your preference. Um, I have those decks complete, so if that um, if that appeals to you more, then let me know. Can you work something out? Uh, then a bunch of <laughs> DT Gem Knight stuff, because, um, I, I don't know, I, I wanted it back in the day. So, three Gem Knight Tourmaline, one Gem Armadillo, one Ultra Gem Knight Ruby, one Ultra Gem Knight Topaz, and three <laughs> Gem Knight Fusion, one Gem Knight Garnet, uh, one Super Snowman Eater, one Secret Chaos Hunter First Ed, one First Ed Sylvan Marshall Leaf, which was the most valuable pull I got from my 50 packs of Legacy of the Valiant or whatever. Um, <laughs> so, so, that's interesting, I guess. Then one first dead MX Saber Invoker, one first dead Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley, one unlimited edition Super Black Whirlwind, one Ultra uh, Legendary Six Samurai Shien Unlimited, and one Unlimited Gateway of the Six in Super. Uh, Sam's, I have the complete deck. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't have a complete <laughs> Gem Knight deck. Uh, but then again, why would you want one? Uh, then Monarch stuff. Again, I have a complete Monarch deck, if you want that. So I have two Ultimate Rise of the Storm Monarch. One is First Ed. One Ultimate Thestalos the Firestorm Monarch. <coughs> two Hobby League uh, Dark Dust Spirit in French Unlimited. So, um, Esprit de Poussière de Ténèbres, or whatever. I don't know. I butchered that. Uh, one, well, you see, I have two Treeborn Frogs, both in Italian Ultimate. Um, both first dead. And the thing is, this one is like almost mint. Um, while well, this one is quite heavily damaged, so like it's still playable, but it's just it, yeah, it's 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 damaged. So bear that in mind. Then one first ed tongue twister secret and one angel of seven in ultra. And three ultra lad, two gold riser and a super riser first ed. And then there are four soul exchanges here. I think I have like 20,000 soul exchanges. So this one is Italian first ed, and then the others are English, super unlimited. And I have three Mystic Piper, two first edition, one unlimited edition, one ultimate Neos Alias first ed, one Skill Prisoner first ed, one Skullmeister first ed, one Chaos and Master first ed, secret, one Ulti Machine Dupe first ed. One Burial from a Different Dimension, Ultra First Ed. Three Hobby League Green Gadget Unlimited, three Hobby League Red Gadget Unlimited, a Hobby League Limiter Removal Unlimited, and two Hobby League Yellow Gadget Unlimited. Then two uh, Hobby League MST, two Hobby League Kaiku, one Hobby League TT, two Hobby League Decree, and two Hobby League Noble Man of Crossout. Then two Hobby League Tokoichi, a Hobby League Rotor that is coloured in, so the cape is purple. It doesn't really change the art at all, but um, I thought it was a nice touch when I did it, to be honest. So, yeah, if you're up for that, it looks good. One Secret Zenmaya Unlimited, two Super Gold Sarks, one Hobby League Azura Priest, sorry, two Hobby League Azura Priest, and a Hobby League Call of the Haunted. 
then two super solar recharge an obedient schooled super first ed a phoenix wing wind blast from premium gold first ed one obelisk from premium gold first ed one effect veiler from premium gold first ed one armory arm ultra first ed one forbidden lance from premium gold first ed and one retort secret first ed then we have pharaoh servant yeah this is the pharaoh servant one yeah pharaoh servant ultra call of the haunted um, completely mint, pretty much. Yep, it's mint. That's great. Uh, one super unlimited Gigi armor. Uh, Gigi armor? Gigi accelerator, sorry. Um, from Astral Pack. One unlimited super Call of the Haunted from DB1, I believe. Yeah, DB1. And I think this one is, um, European. Yeah, it's, it's European rather than American. Um, then secret... Thunder King, Secret Armades, First Ed, uh, Super Debris, Unlimited from Turbo Pack 4, Ultimate Photon Thrasher, Super Horned Phantom Beast, and an Ultra Unlimited Stardust Dragon. Then, three Super Silver, uh, no, so, <laughs> Snow and Light of Dark World uh, from Legendary Collection, First Edition, two Ultra Gates of Dark World, First Ed, and one Super. Gates of Dark World from Asher Pack. Then three Grapho Dragon Lord of Dark World First Ed Ultra. Three Secret Gateway to Dark World. Two Ultimate Dark World Dealings. One is in a uh, quite it's not it's not bad condition, but the corners are eroded quite a bit. And this one is almost mint. Um this one is first ed and this one is unlimited ed, both ultimate. And uh gold gold <laughs> lord of dark world this is uh gold series one i do have i think two premium gold ones so if you'd prefer that then let me know and um two brow huntsman of dark world first ed and a beige vanguard of dark world ultra first ed then two super advanced draw and a dark smog super have some harpy stuff, two hysteric sign, one first ed, one unlimited edition, and a ultra harpy's pet dragon first ed uh, from legendary collection. Then three super harpy's hunting grounds first ed, three hysteric party first ed. Uh, super by the way, so all the harpy stuff in here is hollow. Um, I do have common equivalents for everything I believe, so if, again if you'd prefer that then let me know. But this is all hollowed out. So three super hysteric party. <clears throat> super elegant egotist two ultra lightning chidori first ed and three super harpy ladies i believe these are american but i'm not quite sure um two imperial iron wall first ed ultra one dual terminal in the cherry extrio so in case you're playing raccoons and you want it uh one secret box of friends one vampire lord ultra one bujin aristuda aristuda first ed and it is german one black luster soldier envoy of the beginning which is eroded around the edges a little bit no it, it's, it's not too bad but it's not it's not perfect two super solemn warning and azurai silver dragon a secret shooting star dragon two gold enemy controller a an italian miracle contact first ed a super moray of greed i have three ghost trick mary all first ed um, just two on in here, but yeah, three Ghost Trick Mary first ed, a limited, uh, limited edition. What am I talking about? A um, a super dark bribe from this is the one from, uh, War of the Giants or whatever, the Battle Pack expansion. Then one limited edition, uh, limited edition, bad bad habit. Uh, super spore, a first ed Madolche Hoot Cake, and a first ed Ultimate Dekoichi. <coughs> and a first ed scrap Othros secret a super gemini spark super consecrated light oh here are the golds all right so yeah as you can see there two gold Wu lord of dark world in this gold rarity rather than the one that we saw before a gold thunder king a gold judgment dragon both from premium gold uh, gold Plague from Premium Gold, Gold Necro from Premium Gold, and Gold Gaga Magician. 
Then Fog King. I should have more Fog King, but my friends took them. For now, it's only one, but um, if you want more, then message me and I'll get my friends to give them back to me. Uh, two Exacto Hornet Super First Edition. One Gauze, and this one is altered, as you can see. So, um, firstly, I coloured in this bit in the foreground so that the um, the I guess dust trailing around him is red. So I I think that's quite a nice touch. It gives it more of a like bloody effect. And I also like I eroded away the card for there so that the um like when you do that the hollow yeah. This was in your trousers, but it's been through the wash. Okay, cool. So don't know if it will still work. Um, so, the, <laughs> yeah, so when you, when you, um, reflect it, you, you can see that the hollow still rubs off, sorry, uh, still, still glistens off on it, because if I just painted that red, paint that red? If I just coloured that red, then it wouldn't, it wouldn't reflect, and likewise I eroded the, um, the metallic bits on the art, so it comes up as white now. So, yeah, if you want that, then go ahead. Then Ultra Tiger King Unlimited and uh, Super Bear Limited. Then one Cyber Dragon Dry, one Cyber Dragon Nova, one Cyber Dragon Core. Then I have 18 Noble Knight Autoriguses, two are Super, first dead. <coughs> the rest are Ultra Unlimited Edition. So let me know if you want them. I have... Uh, four fossil diner in here. I have more, so they're super. Three malefic stardust dragon ultra, and they are American. Then three ultimate miracle fusion. One is first edition, but is also the most damaged, and the other two are fine in terms of condition. Or unlimited edition. Then crazy boxes. They're all first ed. I have um. At the moment, I believe 21, because I gave a couple away to my friends before Nationals. Uh, I have many, so let me know if you want some crazy boxes. This is just going towards like the stuff that I have a lot of, as you can see. So, you know, Y taps. I have um, nine, I think, nine Y taps or something like that. Uh, so let me know if you want them. Then I have. One, one Beredo Ultimate. Uh, six, Kagakuri Shogun Model Double Zero Beret, the level seven, from the tin. Uh, and then this is some Primal Origin stuff that I happen to have. So, I'm going to have a lot of these. Let me know if you want them. And I'll probably get a lot of these as well. Just let me know if you want them. And then other stuff. This this isn't for trade. Just like, whoa, why would I need the X-Ton at the front? It's because it's not for trade. Um, Vampire Hunter, the best card in my side for Nationals. I have six, so let me know if you want them. They're all unlimited edition. Then Alive Justice Quarantine, I have nine. Uh, six of them are American and three are English. They're all first dead, so you can see that, like, the color is different for those two than it is for that, uh, that one, because these are the three English and these are the three American. And then Trap Tricks, Trap All Nightmare, I have 11 of them. Then I used to play Vanguard, so um, if you want Vanguard stuff, let me know, because obviously I have it and I'm not playing the game anymore. Um, so I have two Silent Tom, uh, nothing's SP unless I specify <coughs> that it's SP. So I have two Silent Tom, uh, two Amateur Ass, one is autographed by the actress who played uh, Mizaki, or whatever her name is, in the Vanguard anime, the English sub. So Carol Ann, as you can see there, so... Uh, it's, it's clearer on the Tsukiyomi than it is on that, but Carol Ann with a heart on it because she loved me more than you. So, yeah, if you're more interested in that, then let me know. But I have two CEO Amateur Ass. Then two uh, Dragonic Kaiser of a Million. I have three Tsukiyomi. To be honest, like OTT is the only deck I'd be willing to play <laughs> in Vanguard. I love it so much. But yeah, two, um, two Tsukiyomi and another Tsukiyomi, but this one is autographed by Carol Ann as well. And then two, oh sorry, three Wyvern Guard Gold.
Then one pure keeper Requiel, one circular Swakiriel, one solitary knight Gancelot, two knight of the steel blade Caradoc, one sphere Magus, and one graphite cannon dragon. So the reason why I have them is because they are um, they are promos. For those of you who were like, why why do you have commons there? Um, one Witch of the Abyss Negromar, one Rune Shade, and one Deathseeker Thanathos. This one is SP. It's my only SP, I believe. And four Paralyzed Madonna, four Mutant, uh, Martial Arts Mutant Master Beetle, three Dual X Arc Dragon, four Maiden of Libra, three Dragonic Lord Keeper, one Ice Prisoner Necromancer Cockatus, and one Dragonic Death Scythe. Then three Captain Knight Mist, and as you can see, these ones are clearly altered in terms of their art. So this one is just a regular one. Then this one, I um, I eroded away the hair, so um, the hollow reflects off his hair. <laughs> I think that's pretty cute. And then this one, I did it on the um, on the sword and the sleeve, so you can see that it reflects reflects a bit differently. So yeah, if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, one Desert Gun and Shiden, one Core Memory Armoros, two Heat Nail Salamander, one General Seyfried, one Cosmo Healer Ergodiel, one Super Dimensional Robo Dayusha, one Vortex Dragon, one Bling Wing, uh, yeah, Blade Wing Reggie, and one OCG Skydiver, I think it's Korean, one Edel Rose, one Sword Magician Sarah, one White Dragon, Knight Pen Dragon, one Dragonic Overlord from the Structure Deck. One Lion Heat and one Knight, Le uh, Knight of Godly Speed Galahad. Nah, there's, there's not just one. Yeah, there's two. I was going to say, right? Why is this one? I only have one. And then, um, just some random Pokemon stuff here. I have a Mewtwo EX. That's all I have. Um, and yeah, Dragon Monk Goku. Surprised I only have one. I should have more. I, I do have more. I 100% have more Dragon Monk Goku. But yeah, let me know if you want them. So that's everything in my binder. I have more random hollows that I I haven't put in the binder because obviously the binder is only so big. Um, and I have more decks and whatnot that I have neglected to include. So in general, if you think I might have some random obscure card, let me know because I probably do. Um, then in terms of other things that I have, start out with uh, mats because i do have an abundance of mats apparently well not 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 a huge abundance i have i have a few i literally have a few <laughs> so um i'm open to selling all of them i'd rather sell than trade like i, I don't care for trading mats so if you want one then offer money and i shall see <clears throat> so we start off with my starry to mat um, beautiful, beautiful mat. I remember seeing this at, uh, YCS London, and just being like, wow, I want this mat. This mat is beautiful. So, um, I was very happy when I won the, uh, what was it? The Blue Eyes Regional in order to win this mat. I was just staring at it for days, like, oh my god, so beautiful. And, um, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I don't I don't mind selling it now though because I have, I have the Nationals mat, but yeah, let me know if you want it. Um, I I believe that this one also didn't get like printed that much. There was quite a limited time window to obtain this. Um, and it's just a very beautiful mat in general. It's in good condition. Like it isn't in the sleeve, but as you can see from the edges, like it's been it's been maintained in good condition. Which I am quite proud of. So yeah. Let me know if you want it. <sighs> Just move them somewhere. Then this is the Primal Origin Sneak Pink mat. That I won at Nationals. Because uh, I did win a Primal Origin Sneak Pink. Um, I was filling in for Devil May Duel. Because he didn't want to play. So I played and won the map. Just let me know if you want the map. It, lo <laughs> it looks pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. Um, very impressive. But hey, I don't want it, so let me know if you do. Then this is the Regional 2012 map, Hanzo map, which was the first first map that I won. Um, because 
I had only top one regional to get a map. This was my first regional top. Very proud moment for me. I was using Samurai in um in the format with like Rabbit, uh, Wind Up, and all that other good stuff. The hand loop format. And um, I came third. And I probably would have won if if I didn't get <laughs> didn't get a game loss because a couple of my sleeves were different. And honestly, like I I should have been DQ'd from the tournament. I I was I was incredibly lucky. I somehow managed to not notice that two of my sleeves were like basically completely different. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was that was messed up. But yeah, very very pleased with how I did all those years ago. It was pretty much two years ago actually. Um, so yeah, a lot of progress made since then, I guess. But yeah, I I'm not adverse to selling this mat at all, I would happily sell it, and again, it's been kept in pretty good condition, so, um, uh, has, like, a bit more, <laughs> yes, <laughs> so the camera cut off, um, yeah, so, if you want that, then send in an offer, and for some reason, this one is upside down, so this is the, um, YCS Sheffield mat, YCS Sheffield being my second YCS. The first one was YCS Brighton. So this one was September 8th to 9th, 2012. Um, with this one, it would have been my first day too. Basically, it was sealed, right? So myself, Connor, and the two Antonys were playing. Myself and Connor were X2. So we needed one more win to get to day two. Um, it, it would have been great if I day two my first YCS. That would have been been tremendous for me. Um, but I got to the last round, and then myself and Connor and Anthony were trading, uh, looking for Pokemon stuff because we were thinking of playing Pokemon TCG at the time. And then uh, Anthony just walked off, and then we're like, okay, so we're carrying on trading, and then. A few minutes later, we, we look up at the clock and it's like 14 minutes into the round. So, obviously, we, we've been dropped from the tournament. Um, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> Anthony had played his game. And we were like, oh, what, what happened? Why didn't why didn't you tell us? And um, he was just like, oh, yeah, <laughs> my bad. So, yeah, that was, um, that was disappointing. <laughs> I would have liked to have played the last uh, game out to see if I'd have actually made... Uh, day day two also uh, I entered the YCS trial the next day I got to fourth and there's a video of me playing uh, Luke Leonard on on YouTube and I'm like apparently I misplayed quite a lot um, I, I haven't watched through it I, I think I watched through it, like once and um, I think there are a couple of misplays that I made but uh, I'd, I'd take it with a pinch of salt. I hadn't, I hadn't played the game for a long time before I went to this YCS. I went to this YCS because it was just a sealed YCS. So I didn't think that I'd have to like do anything. But um, I had built wind-ups. And I didn't know what I was doing. So yeah, that was that was fun. Yeah, it was, it was a fun event. Uh, again, this mat has been kept in near pristine condition. As with all the other mats. So if you want it, then... Uh, <laughs> Then, then let me know. And the most recent one, my nationals map. Um, this one, I'm least likely to sell because it, this this has been my greatest achievement so far. So I'd like to keep it as a as a um, as a piece of memorabilia, I guess. But obviously, I'm I'm not completely adverse to anything. So if you want. If you want to buy it, shoot me an offer. So you know what? I don't care if, if this is the best you've ever done at an event. I'm I'm, I'm getting this mail for you, and then I'll be like, all right, let's let, let's talk, let's talk. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's a beautiful mail. Like I I saw it and I was just like, wow, Jesus Christ, this this mail looks amazing. I hate Bujin, but <laughs> it's a very beautiful mail. Um. And it's pretty rare as well, I think. So, yeah. Let me know if you want it. This one is sealed. 
Primal Origin one and this one are sealed and the Primal Origin one definitely won't be removed from its packaging anytime soon. Um, this one might be. If I sell the Star Eater mat, then I'll end up using this one. But um, until then, this one will probably stay sealed. So, yeah, if you want that one, then let me know too. So, yep, thanks for watching. A lot of stuff there. Oh, there's some more stuff actually. Yay, more stuff. So, um, as you can see there, it's a regional deck box. Just get up and get it. Regional deck box, right? Uh, this has been sitting around for a long time. I'm not going to use it. If you want it, then let me know. And it shall be yours at the right price um i'm <laughs> i'm not doing this like co coincidentally i am willing to sell the box obviously because who cares it's just a box i have i have another one of these i have two of these so let me know if you want one um but yeah mainly these sleeves right i had to open one pack of them because it's compulsory to open one pack um if you are to play <coughs> in the top 32 so I do have a deck that is in these these sleeves, unfortunately. However, I do also have one pack that is completely sealed, and I have another World Championship sleeves pack. Um, not from this one though. It is from the blue, the blue era. I don't know what else to describe it as because I I don't have it on me, um, and I can't be bothered to look for it. But I do have another. Um, another pack of world championship sleeves so if you want these then let me know these these are quite nice looking actually i mean i i prefer just having like ultra pro one color so i prefer having ultra pro yellow but these are these are fine as they are um there's some more stuff here actually might as well see if there is anything that might tickle your fancy so unity, use your friendship, they're for trade. The Matayon probably isn't for trade. These are the two ghost trick Marys I was talking about. Shed Ride might be for trade. These are just rubbish cards. This is sold. For trade, for trade, for trade, for trade, for trade. Camera cut out again, that's upsetting. Um are these for trade, then these are definitely not for trade. Uh I'll have more of these, I would imagine. That is for trade. Uh, just any common from Primal Origin. Primal Origin is good for commons. as some good commons. But yeah. So as as you can see, like, I, I, I do just have random stuff that I'm not paying attention to. And some of it is just random, like all this rubbish. But then some of it is less random. Um, like these. Like, I just have a secret fossil diner lying around. Um, look at my desk. Let's see what random stuff is lying around there. Gold OCG Sakuretsu armor. Uh, random box. There is Allah of Darkness and Ultra Insecta Gigamantis. I have an entire Insecta deck for sale. Bunch of commons. So I have all the commons that you might want. I have these types of sleeves which you might want. I have a bunch of random hollows that you might want. So yeah, let me know if you are interested in any of those things um but for now I'll take it as it is and that 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 will be all i think that'll be all so yeah mainly money there's pretty much nothing that i want in terms of trades at the moment but that doesn't mean that if you um if you only really have trades and don't have money then just don't don't say anything message me because i will Happily look around with what you have and discuss to see if we can work something out. But yeah, cool. Thanks a lot. See you around.